Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a good day today. Here is your weekly Titanfall update where I usually talk about news within the Titanfall community, the Titanfall franchise, the games, the ups and downs, the emotional roller coaster that we're all on as Titanfall fans when it comes to wanting to play Titanfall multiplayer. This is, this is, the, I'm sorry, I, I find it very funny talking about the Titanfall news that's, that's just happening because honestly, when it comes to like, is the game getting fixed? What's the issue on the game? Are the servers up? Are the servers down? Are the DDoSing? The blacklist is up? What is happening? It's all changing. It's all, it's always rotating. It's always changing. It's on, it's off, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. It's always on this roller coaster that you and I are on. So we're going to talk about some of the stuff that's been happening within this game over the past week, over this weekend as well with the Last Resort weekend that actually happened this week. The Last Resort event was a crazy thing. I thought it was a really cool thing that Astraeus and other Titanfall content creators created uh, that I really hope a lot of people got involved. From what I, I see on Twitter, it seems like a good amount of people got involved, especially in the Asian community uh, that, of the Titanfall. Titanfall community actually got involved in it. I think that's really cool to see that, but I'm not going to lie to you. I, I look at Twitch and I look at the numbers. We're going to look at the Twitch numbers here in a second of the amount of viewers that are watching Titanfall right now, man. It's not a whole lot. It is a small number compared to what it used to be. Even just a few thousand players seem like a lot when it comes to watching Titanfall, but man, oh man, nowadays, I, I'm not going to lie. Seeing triple digits kind of hurts me in the feels. I'm going to tell you that right now. So we'll get into that. First off, I want to say this too. If you guys hopefully checked out my Vanguard, I talked about Call of Duty Vanguard video uh, in my previous video, the first video I made today. Hopefully you guys caught that and my kind of opinion about the Call of Duty franchise, where that's going to be leading this year. Um, I would love to know what your opinion is about that. So hopefully you caught that video. And also do sleep with baby. Boom. Get them guns. I'm kind of caught. I'm, I'm short on time. So I, I appreciate you bearing with me. Usually I wear a t-shirt, but it's tank top today. So I just got done working out. So we're going to get into it. So anyway, let's do this. Let's talk about this first. So Titanfall numbers. This is one thing that made me sad over the week because this is one thing that I saw that made me really depressed because somebody posted on Twitter that I think it was only like nine people were watching Titanfall. Nine people, a single digit. Now, I don't know how long that lasted for, but I guarantee you, man, there, that probably hurt so many people seeing that. It hurt me seeing that, but I mean, even just seeing 101 you know what let's uh, you know what just a bit, bit of the doubt Let, let's just refresh it let's see what we get 126 okay just a few improve but just man oh man for people that have been within the titanfall community for so long and people that have been playing the game from since 2016 the the high days of 2017 but good lord man i mean this is a great game but only 126 people that is as much that that this ddos thing that has been affecting this titanfall game it, it just sucks man it sucks to know of such a great game that titanfall is to know that only a 20 126 player or people are watching the content because I guarantee, you know, the people that are playing this game are, are trying to get into multiplayer. Maybe they, they, maybe they're actually able to get into multiplayer matches, but how long are they going to DDoS? Is that, is that content that their people are tuning in to watch other content creator on Twitch going to be abruptly ended because of the DDoS? I have no idea, but it's just, it's, it sucks, man. It sucks to see that because you, you talk this game up. You want to, you want to make content for your friends. I make content on, on YouTube videos and people are like, oh man, I want to play this game. I want to try this game out. Or you people watch my videos and say, dude, I just bought this game. And now all of a sudden I can't play the multiplayer. What the hell? It's just, it's sucky things like that to find out about. And, and just to know and look on Twitch, I'm seeing only a hundred some odd people playing or watching it. it it's definitely a, a big hurt. In the, it, it's just been kicking the balls, man. It, it sucks because you know how good the game is, and it sucks to know that not a whole lot of love is being brought to it whatsoever. So, anyway, just wanted to bring that up because I'm at least going to give you guys the bad news up front, and then we'll kind of we'll, we'll get into some good news and probably some bad, like I said, it's a roller coaster, man. You get some bad news, it gets good news, it gets the bad news. We're just on this roller coaster. Join me. Hold hold your hands up in the air. We're just going to get through it together. So let's talk about this as well. So uh, Astraeus put on this great, uh, great event. I love that he was able to do this called the, the Titanfall Last Resort. So the main message that he was trying to put out is that with everybody that's been dealing with this DDoS attack with the multiplayer and whatnot, he said, you know what? Last Resort, let's just do this. Let's do a Titanfall event. Maybe we won't be able to play multiplayer, but we can at least stream the campaign. We'll have a huge community of, of players and people out there within the Titanfall community, within, you know, people that might not be in the Titanfall community that see this stuff that just want to try it out and play it because it's like three bucks on xbox it might be on sale on other consoles but at least participate and be involved in this event i love that he was able to do this well from what i understand it actually had a pretty decent turnout i, I love the fact that he was actually able to get a good amount of people in this now this happened over the weekend so on on, on saturday and sunday this was held um and i like it man i, I really enjoyed that even though the game is i don't want to say on the decline it's 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 on a decline that somebody is, is 
is pushing this game off like it like the game it's like mufasa and scar is about to let go and, and mufasa is trying to hold on for all that is worth and it just sucks to know that man it's only the titanfall community it feels like that's wanted to save this game man come on it's just two or three people fix it why am i why am i blurry boom is that focus there we go <laughs> it's just it's stupid to know of the lack of tlc that's happening but damn it man the the titanfall community is wanting to keep this game alive so i love it that he was able to do it it was again like i said over the weekend that the game was held or the the event was held now like i said the the asian uh titanfall community was i mean like uh, from what i understand when it comes to viewership and the amount of people within the asian community that were that were streaming this game uh seemed like quite a bit it seemed like a huge amount of, of people were, were playing this and streaming it and creating content for it and i love it and i enjoy it that it, it might not be people in the united states it might not be people in europe and in other parts of the world but a lot of people within the within the world with asia and and and, and so many more places where around the world are trying to do everything they can if they are a fan of this game damn it they're going to be doing doing something to show some some report or some support for this thing and i love it to know that astraeus was putting this on even though you might not be able to play multiplayer play the campaign show the campaign off i'm happy to see the results that, that were given for this thing now the one thing i do want to talk about is not only build up you know what what he did and i want to I really am happy with the way that it turned out but there was two reasons why i did not cover now usually i do a weekend weekly video kind of talking about stuff that's happening within the community stuff that's happening within the game this is one thing i did not talk about last week if you guys don't know about uh for two reasons one i was spending a lot of time with my my, my family i was having a great time rock climbing i tried to post some pictures on youtube that to kind of keep you guys informed and also check out my twitter i post pictures on, on twitter as well of stuff that i do with my family um so that was one reason. The second reason was I haven't, uh, this is just one theory. It was just one thing I was just kind of, you know, keeping in my, uh, keeping a way of wanting to build up more attention on it, just in case of people that are malicious and watching my videos and wanting to attack something that I support and stuff like that. So I, I withheld making a video about this because I was like, you know what, if I bring attention to it, it's, it, you know, it, DDoS is going to be happening. Stuff is going to be getting attacked and stuff like that. Server is going to be attacked. And the, in the event, it's not going to get the, the greatness that it could when players are playing multiplayer um, and not being affected by it. Well, the funny thing is, even though I didn't cover it, the servers apparently were not being attacked whatsoever on, I think the Friday of, so last Friday, the server were not being attacked whatsoever servers were being up i don't know if the blacklist was lifted or not uh but apparently people were saying look servers are up titanfall 1 titanfall 2 pc xbox playstation 4 get in here and play while you have a chance well sure as hell enough over the weekend that's when the ddos attack again happened on all consoles in all games it, it, it just sucks to know that no matter if i don't cover it or if i do cover it or whatnot it's still going to be getting attacked it still sucks to know that the community that I support, the community that support me so, through so many years of coverage and, and being a part of this community is suffering just because of one thing, one person, one whoever it is, is still attacking it. I, it just makes me so sad that no matter what we do as a community, even if we're wanting to build up a, a fun event, somebody out there is still wanting to piss on our, on our Cheerios, piss on our, our event uh, that we're wanting to withhold, w w have fun within the community. So, Astraeus, I, I do appreciate what you did. I think it's awesome. I'm glad to know that a lot of people got involved in it. I'm still upset, though, that servers are still getting attacked and stuff is still being bothered and and that's again like i said look I, i've said this previous times in other videos again if you were somebody that's watching my videos follow titan forever follow save titanfall because again these are people that have been keeping track of exactly what's been happening within the games with titanfall 1 and titanfall 2 and letting you guys know hey the servers are up you can play right now hey the blacklist is up or blacklist is down they've been trying to keep um trying to people try to keep people uh, 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 aware of exactly what's going on and again like i said um getting reports of some data centers playable for titanfall on pc getting them uh, getting them to try and update uh with that playable you know titanfall 2 is back on all platforms blacklist is down so they, again this was updates i was getting leading up to this event over this weekend with the last resort weekend and then again like i said july 31st the day of the event the titanfall 2 game was being hit again so it's just it's just really it, look i love that we're sticking together as much as we can as a titanfall community um but it just it, it just makes me sad that no matter what we try to do it's being attacked by one person and, and that sucks because there's so many people out here that are wanting to be a part of it we're wanting to bring in more people to keep this franchise alive to keep the game alive 
to keep the Titanfall community alive, that it seems like no matter what we do, it's always being halted by one individual or, 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 or something like that. It's just, it's just annoying. So look, I, I want to say this again to the, to the Titanfall community. Thank you guys so much for staying as strong as you possibly can through this thing. I know I said, you know, in a previous video, Titanfall's on the ropes. We still are on the ropes. We have not dropped to the ground. We are still alive. We are still kicking. We are still in this fight. It's just for some reason, we are still not getting the support we need. We're not getting that encouragement. We're in this boxing match between the DDoSer and the Titanfall franchise wanting to stick around and stay alive. We had those two or three developers at Respawn apparently trying to fix the issue on our, on our side. We're just not getting that encouragement that we need to stick in the fight. But damn it, we have the will uh, and the way, apparently, as a community to stay in this fight as long as we possibly can. So anyway, again, like I said, I'm going to continue making videos about this. We're going to continue to talk about this every week and give you guys my opinion about exactly what is going on within this community. Um, and just keep it alive. Keep it talking. Keep people involved in it. And it's just one thing that I just, I don't want to, I don't want to stop. I want to keep it alive. I want this keep it going because my will is strong. And I know your guys' will is strong, and I want to make sure this, this community stays alive as long as possible. We want to stay in the fight. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please have a great rest of the day. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about The Last Resort, if you guys got to participate in that, or if you guys got to view it. Let me know if you, you guys liked it and would love to see more community events held by content creators out there within the Titanfall community. Let me know in the comments below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video. Please have a great rest of the day. Look forward to talking to you guys all next time. Get them guns, man! All right, bye, guys.